Hey guys, guess what? Tech tip time. Hey, I know you could be new subscribers, maybe you're not, maybe it's the first time you're gonna watch this video. But today we're gonna talk about some GM rear ends and uh, some little how to's and some lessons learned. So if this is your first time watching me, uh, I encourage you, please subscribe below and comment. I will do my best, we will do our best to reply to all the comments and very appreciative to every subscriber and every like we get. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Check us out, check out more videos. We have all kinds of content coming for 2021 and we're excited to show it. Here we go. Hey guys, Scott coming at you with Flippin' Customize. And yeah, I had my coffee this morning. Uh, just a quick, easy, tech tip we're gonna do today on a GM 10 bolt rear end and how that applies basically is we're jumping back on this project for 2021. Hey Pop. And it's our two, uh, 1991 Chevy S10 regular cab short bed LS swap truck that's been kind of stale. We got the frame, everything's done on it. And we're, we're on to the rear end to get this thing a roller. So we're getting ready to order some parts, new gears, new axles, limited slip, you name it. So we wanna make sure we have the right parts because basically the, the axles and the, house and the um, carrier that was in this truck was, uh, was set up for a small V6. So it had 26 spline axles. When we're gonna go to a 28 spline axle, we're still using that smaller GM housing, um, which is a seven and a half inch, 7.625. Uh, but we're gonna beef it up a little bit by running the, basically what the trucks came with the 4.3s. The uh, little bit bigger carrier, um, it's got a little bit bigger axles in it. We're just gonna beef it up. And today what I wanted to do for a tech tip is just kind of show you on measuring axle length, spline size, spline count, gear ratios, just a few quick tech tips. So let's get at it. First things first, this is the, uh, the victim that uh, we've gutted it already. My buddy came over the other day, um, so she's mostly gutted out. <clears throat> but what I want to talk to you about first is axle shafts. And if I stand back like so, these two shafts are different in a few different ways. The one on the right comes out of this S10, this 91 S10. It's a 26 spline axle. The one on the left comes out of an S10 Blazer, a 2000, I believe. And that's a 28 spline axle. And there goes the pop again. Uh, and there's a difference if you actually, if you want to, you can kind of see them both. Uh, let me put them right next to each other. There's a significant size difference between a cent, uh, 26 and a 28 spline axle. So it is, I mean, yeah, you get two more splines, it's going to up the diameter. The bearing size itself down here with the axle bearings right on the shafts, that's the same size. So you luck out there. Um, when you're measuring your axle length. So the problem being is these blazer axles are too long. And what I mean by that is we need to maintain our axle length. These ones here are 29 inches, okay? The ones that came out of this housing, so this is the length we have to be true to, are 26.625 or 26 and 5 eighths. So I thought we were gonna be able to use this axle, but we can't because apparently on the blazers, the late model blazers, the rear end, because the rear discs and everything are wider. Um, this application for this truck here, it's a 26 spline, 26 and 5 eighths length axle. So we need to order some new axles that are 28 spline, but staying true to this, the length, the overall length. And to measure the length is just that. You go from the outside flange of the, where the wheel would bolt on, to the very end of the axle shaft. And I mean, they only make so many, so you know if you get close, what you got. Again, this is about a 26 point... 625 or 26 and 5 eighths axle shaft that we want to bump up to a 28 spline axle and it's simple as that measuring counting your axle splines can be just that i typically will take a marker i'll mark them as i go because you lose count very very easily and double check yourself um you don't want to be ordering parts and getting them in and go to do the job and they're wrong been there done that i'm sure i'll do it again these are C-clip type axles. So they come out with a standard C-clip out of the carrier. And what we'll do is I'll take you over to the bench and show you the gears. All right. 
Real quick on the covers. So we're dealing with a 10 bolt rear end. Oh, what do you mean 10 bolt? Well, it's, it's just that. Count your bolt holes. There's 10 bolt holes. And these S-Series trucks ran an oval cover. It's actually upside down. It would go like this if you were looking at the back of the truck. So that's a 10 bolt rear end. And you're like, well, am I dealing with a seven and a half or a seven, six, two, five? So you want to get your ring gear off. Um, cause that's the easiest way if, to, to try and measure the face across the face of this ring gear in the truck is virtually impossible, even on the carrier itself. So I just popped it off the carrier and simple as that. Keep in mind these carrier bolts. Okay. Reverse thread. So if you're <laughs> thinking you're unscrewing it, you're not, you're tightening it. Um, so go ahead and tighten in direction, loosen all these screws, tap, tap, tap with the hammer. The ring gear comes right off in most cases. Um, and then all you want to do is like, all right, am I dealing with a seven and a half inch or a 7.625? Cause that was the two options that I was, I was wondering what I had. And across the face of this gear, it's seven, five, eight. So this is a 7.625 gear. Okay. So this axle is a GM 10 bolt, <coughs> excuse me, 7.625 uh, carrier size. <laughs> As far as the gear ratio goes, they're always gonna be stamped. There's a couple ways you can do this. Right on the larger gearing gear itself, and it says 1241. You just divide the numbers, and you're gonna get a ratio of three, I think these are 342s. Um, we, I'm on the fence about changing these gears out and going to 373s in this truck. Um, so we're gonna make the determination today so we can get these things coming. The only other way you could do it is if you, if you weren't able to identify it or see the stamp on it is again, Count all these ring gear teeth, and then count your pinion teeth, and divide the two, and that gives you a ratio. Again, this is a 342. Um, not brain surgery. We're not getting heavy, heavily in-depth into this. Like I said, today we're just doing some parts ordering, and I wanted to make sure that uh, everybody's on the same page. If there's, if there's any like little tips or anything, maybe something that I missed, but I just kind of like to put stuff out there. Um, as learning le lessons learned from myself and it might help someone else out. So again, uh, this is where we're at with the truck. We're going to be ordering some parts today and then we're going to get into actually rebuilding this whole rear axle. So with that, what we're going to do is get the parts coming. When the parts come in, identify and make sure they're right before we go to install them because then you're stuck with them. And then we're going to, my buddy's going to come over. He's going to help us set it up. We're going to be talking backlash. We're going to be talking gear sets, case spreaders, the whole deal. So if you want some more videos, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Tune in to us again. This is Flippin' Customized. Thanks for watching.